Hey, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Uh, be on here for a few minutes as long as there's some daylight and I'm able to be out here and enjoy this. Uh, finally, Chicago having some uh, beautiful weather. And hey, if you um, if you like what you're going to hear here in a few minutes, please feel free to post it, repost and share it. But uh, I enjoy, uh, not in a critical way, uh, speaking about the things that I dislike about church because I think that... Uh, uh, we've digressed from what uh, God had in mind and what Christ birthed, and we've become something uh, um, just kind of a shadow of what it uh, was meant to, to be. And uh, there's some things that I just don't like about the church. I think that we are isolated from the very people that we're supposed to be um, affecting and helping and, touch, and touching in this life. Uh, I think that we have developed a, an idea that says... <clears throat> that we have to change people before we love people. And uh, we've got that backwards. Uh, you know, if if Christ was here walking the earth today, carrying on his ministry, he would get in trouble for the things that uh, he did then, if he did it now, uh, because he broke so many religious uh, um, rules and regulation to get ministry done. One was, for instance, should they not know, should be sinned? Yeah, man, I'm surprised you, uh, no, nobody talks about the Illuminati. Wow, that's neat. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's one of my favorite subjects, to be honest with you. But, um, yeah, we've isolated our people, and, uh, uh, yeah, man, I do too, Welsh man. Uh, does that mean you're from uh, Welsh? So, are you are you Wales? Uh well, I do too, man. I do. I try to stay on that. I, I'm sure you studied the Bilderbergs and um, uh, Bohemian Grove. Oh, okay, awesome. Uh, uh, but yeah, we've become so isolated that I think that the, that the church is fearful of of uh, really um, being associated uh, with. Uh, we we want to change people in order to feel safe to be around them. And there's a verse of scripture that says, uh, one translation of the Bible says that Jesus was uh, friends of especially wicked sinners. And so, as I said a few minutes ago, if he was walking the earth today, he would break some major traditions uh, in in getting to people. There's a story in the Bible about Jesus going to a town, to the uh, Jacob's well in Samaria. He shouldn't have been in Samaria. He shouldn't have been talking to a woman. It was a woman of ill repute. I mean, he, he broke so many religious rules right there. And uh, as he was on his way to go to see this woman, um, he told the disciples, he said, go, they told him to go to town and buy some food. And it didn't take all 12 of them to go do that, but he had them all to go because he knew that they would foul up and be offended by what he was getting ready to do, which was to uh, break through religious tradition to get uh, life to this woman. So he, uh, of course, as the story goes, Jesus begins to talk to her and says, um, well, go call your husband. And she said, I don't have a husband. He said, you're right. You've had five, and the man you're living with now isn't your husband. And as the story progresses, uh, because Jesus didn't condemn, uh, the Bible says that God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, or to pass uh, pass judgment or, or doom on it, but that the world through him might be saved. So uh, I think that at times the church is real punitive in, in our thinking as, a, as opposed to uh, grace thinking. So the woman didn't receive uh, a uh, condemnation from Christ. She goes to town and uh, it was evidently she was a woman of ill repute and she said, hey, come and meet a man that told me everything I ever did. Well, you don't see that happen a lot in churches and around Christians today if you if you spill your heart like that and uh, tell everything about your life. It, it can be dangerous. So I think that the church is, is that we are so judgmental that we think that our purpose is in judging people. And uh, I'm not getting into that debate about judging people, um, uh, but that I think we're fearful to show ourselves sympathetic uh, toward people, like for instance, when the shooting took place in Orlando, uh, hey man, that just broke my heart. And uh, 
didn't matter to me whether they they were straight, gay, or, or, or aliens. And so uh, I expected my news feed on um, on Facebook and so forth to, to just light up with Christians uh, reaching out with with sympathy and prayer and concerns. And guys, I just didn't see that not much at all. And so I started posting some things. And uh, that said, you know, hey, man, our hearts are broken. We're praying and, and so forth. And But I think that, that Christians are afraid that if they reach out the way Christ did, that it would look like, quote, unquote, like compromise. And it, it's not compromise. It's understanding more fully uh, who the church is and what we're all about. We're, we're not God's policemen. We don't have badges and we don't have arrest warrants. Um, the best illustration I can make of us as, as a Christian is that we are a battlefield medic. And uh, what that means is that during uh, the time, uh, times of war, uh, the medics would serve not only uh, the allies, but they would also serve the enemy and uh, do so at times under the, the uh, high possibility of, of death uh, and, and being killed. So um, that's just one of the things. And then, too, I, I, I just feel like that we have excluded um, Christ and God and faith out of the political process completely because, and, 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 well, I just say it directly, uh, I don't think that we are approaching the political process with any faith at all. We look at the, cer cer uh, the current conditions and, offerings and so forth and, and Christians are just giving up as if you know God's uh, wiped his hands clean of us and that's that's just not so um, it's you, you you have to you don't have faith as long as you see the hand of God you have faith especially when you when you don't see the hand of God and uh, but you keep believing in the integrity of his word I hope that makes sense and um, I, there's a remnant that's praying uh, for uh, America, and consequently, I don't believe that God's forsaken us. And uh, it, right now is the time as never before to really just pray. But anyway, uh, that's just a couple of things that's has stirred in my heart that uh, I feel like we are um, we're missing a great opportunity to be Christ. So um, we're, we've been judgmental. Uh, I think that we act like we have to change people before we love people um, and, and, and that's that's not what that's not who uh, Christ is he, you know he uh, the Bible says that when we were yet sinners Christ loved us and died for us How, why, why, why can't we do that for other people uh, because I think there's a fear in the minds of Christians that if you reach out to people uh, that uh, you know, people will say that you're compromising with sin or you're compromising, period, and it's it's a fear. So, um, and the Bible says perfect love casts out all fear. And I think that's just one of the things that God is, is trying to change in his church so that um, we begin to uh, think like Christ, uh, love like him, walk like him, serve like him, minister just like him. And then I think that's going to wind up convincing people um, by his love uh, of his reality, okay? Well, that's kind of brief, but uh, I wanted to pass that along to you, and I appreciate you taking time with me. Uh, do you think that the music industry like Eminem or Katy Perry actually sold their souls? <laughs> well, you know, I, I do know, uh, <laughs> yeah, I do know uh, really that that kind of thing has happened uh, in times past, and they've had actually there have been artists that had anointing services for their, when they finished their um, a recording before it went to press, they would have an anointing service uh, and gather and pray over it and um, invoke the blessings of the netherworld. So, uh, you know, yeah. I, uh, and if they did, it doesn't matter because uh, that does, won't keep Christ from, um, from reaching them and loving them. Okay. Thanks, guys.